fall beekeeping in Northeast Ohio. Hey y'all, well I cannot believe how active the girls are. Look at this, look at this. I'm gonna get in front of this one here. Look at this one right here. Look at that, look at down the row here. Look at down that line. You can just sit and listen to them. So what I'm gonna do today in this uh, apiary, look at the activity. Just gets me so excited seeing that. Uh, what I'm gonna do today is pull the supers off and check and see what's left and that'll be the final harvest for the season um kind of you know hate seeing the season come to an end but it's been such a terrific season so really expanded out the apiary got just an unbelievable honey harvest so but i'm gonna pull the supers off i'm gonna get app of our strips in the colonies and just give them, while I'm doing that, just take a quick peek on the brood nest, see how they are. Um, gosh, let's walk back here. Oh, man. But I'm going to look at the brood nest, see how those are. Man, we're sitting next to the California hive right here. Uh, and just kind of get things moving along. So we're into the time of the year now where... Our winter population's being raised up. You know, we gotta have strong colonies. We gotta have well-fed colonies. Um, and it's just so key and so important right now to manage these colonies. So let me go down the line now. I'm gonna check, uh, you know, the new Nature's Image Hive, uh, the California Hive, go down the Bee Castle, check them all just like I did the last inspection. Um, but I am just sitting here and if you can just, oh man, I'm gonna turn around and if you could see the bees, I don't know if you could see them, but you could just see the activity here. It's just, it is, Castle Hive's apiary is buzzing right now. That's what I'll say. So, man, it's, it's just such a terrific day for beekeeping. So let's get uh, down the line here, check these colonies, get Apivar in these, um, pull some supers, and then we might even spend some honey. So. It's a great day to be a beekeeper here at Castle Hive. So let's get this, uh, get the work started, y'all. All right, y'all. Well, so like I said, you know, get my Apivar strips in. Just check on these colonies here. Apivar, okay. They are plastic strips, and I got some falling out there. So this is them right here. This is a pack of two, okay. What you do is you put these strips down into the brood nest, the bees walk over those strips, takes care of the mites. So it's two strips per brood nest, okay? So now these strips, they got little holes in them. You can get toothpicks and put through them to hold them. I'm just going to fish them down in, put another one there, and that's it. That's it. So let's move down to... Uh, this next California hive here, um, drop some strips in there and keep going down the line. Uh, this colony, the California hive, um, I got the queen in here from Uribe honeybees. So, you know, I'm just looking down in here. That's looking good. Now, what I will probably do with these doubles is throw one strip down below, two up top. It's one strip, it says, I believe it is, per every five frames of brood. So number of frames of brood, less than five is one, six to 10 is two, 11 to 15 is three. So this colony is gonna get three strips. So, got another good spot right over here. Oh man. You know, one thing that you can do also when you're doing this is I can check the underside of the frames. I can check this lower deep real quick and just look at the activity in here. And there is an exceptional amount of bees. I'll show you all. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And that is it. 
So supers are coming off. Apivar going on. The colonies are moving along. All right. Well, we've got a pretty good box of bees here. Let's go through here and just yank frames and get this box off. Wow, that is filled also. You know, I'll tell you what I might do. We have 73 on Wednesday. I think this colony here, I'm going to leave it until Wednesday. They're pulling in some nectar. Um, this one here, I'm going to come back. So let's move on down and see what the others show us. Let's go on to this next one. Now, I'm going to do the same thing here. Check some frames. Wow, that's heavy. It's not capped though. You know, I'll tell you what, I may end up leaving a couple of these hives and coming back, y'all. You guys might get two videos in one week. Well, they're working all of this. Um, I'm going to give this colony another week as well, another couple days. Well, I guess that's what happens, you know, you get into your apiary and you check these colonies and you can have a plan set and there are times the bees throw you that curveball. So I'm going to leave this super, leave that super. I may end up leaving a couple of the supers on just a couple more days. I know I'm kind of pushing it. Uh, there's sufficient enough population in these colonies where... I can do that. They can cluster back down in the nighttime, stay warm, and then they can process these supers in the day when the temps go back up. We have two days in the 70s this week, and that's going to be it. And then after that, we have some nights or some days where I think, and I'll put it up there, you know, we're going to have a high of 50. You know, that's just northeast Ohio beekeeping this time of year. So let's move up um, to the front corner up there and go down the line and check those, but we may end up leaving supers on these colonies here for a couple more days, so. All right, everybody, we are gonna go through the two uh, colonies that are here at the farm. Um, this one here was the one that I moved, uh, and all I'm doing today, so, like I said at the other property, we're putting in the app of our strips, pulling the supers off, that's it. Whatever flow is coming in now, I'm going to let them backfill these brood boxes. So let's just pull these off here, uh, throw in our strips real quick, and move on. So let's get this going here. All right, they are condensed down. They've got half of our uh, next thing is feed them. So that'll be the very next step that I do. But let's get over to uh, back over to the main apiary and finish up over there. Oh, let's see what this one shows us. Oh my lord, the number of bees in these supers. So this is what I want to see. The brood nest that they have there, they are backfilling. And that's what you want to see this time of year because the queen really, you know, shuts down as far as laying and they will backfill their brood area. Nice there. Look at that brood area right there. Excellent. Now, I can lift this, boy that is heavy, and look at underneath of there, if you can see, 
Look at the amount of bees in this colony. Excellent. I'm going to drop another app of our strip down below. Okay. Well, this colony will be done. What do I expect out of this colony here? I expect them to have this super. Uh, I expect them to be working this super. The, the population in this colony was booming. Look at this. Wow. There is some uh, nectar on there. All right, I ain't gonna go any further. All right, y'all, so what we got here in the apiary, you know, a couple of these colonies, we have pulled the supers, put on Apivar, our fall mite treatment. The other ones, you can still see a super on a couple of these colonies. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six colonies are still working supers. You saw the population. I mean, look, I'll put a picture up there. Look at how many bees are in these colonies. So one more week and that's going to be it. Um, I don't want to push, you know, push it that hard. I want these colonies strong going into the winter. So, you know, one more week and then it's pull supers, put Apivar on the rest of them. I will probably check mite counts on a couple of those as well. So look next week, um, the video that will follow this one, and I'll do some mite washes, drop some strips, and then talk a little bit more about what I'm going to do in the winter. So we have a couple bottom boards here that I want to switch out. I'm going to solid bottom boards. I'm taking the screens off. Um, so that's a direction that I'm moving. Um, lots coming up still in this 2022 beekeeping season at Castle Hive. So really can't ask for more. I mean, you can see the activity today. I'm just, you know, couldn't be happier, y'all. So you all take care. Thank you for watching. Um, I do want to say thank you for all of the... the I, I, I mentioned something in, in uh, our group on Facebook. Stream teamers, are you all, are you a stream teamer? Do you watch Bruce, Greg, and myself on Wednesdays at 8 o'clock? If you do, we got an exciting one coming up. Um, just wait until tonight, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern on Nature's Image Farm. We have a good one, another good one. So I'm not spilling the secret. Uh, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, Nature's Image Farm. Man, I can't wait until this one. So you all take care and keep on watching. I appreciate it. Thank you much. Have a good day.